Okay, this is a game called Perfect Dark. It is what probably my absolute favorite game for the Nintendo 64. Well, I don't know if it's my favorite, but I definitely played it more than any of the other ones. Um, I guess that makes it my favorite. Not sure. Um, this game had a lot of different cool aspects to it. One of the most interesting things is the fact that you had to purchase a uh, expansion pack, which is an expanded memory for the Nintendo 64. Instead of the normal four megabytes it started with, it would actually have, um, let's see, yeah, it came with eight with that expansion. This game's unique, um, it has a lot of cool aspects, of course, some things that were taken f from 007, um, GoldenEye, because, well, it's the same creators, so all of the animations, as well as the gunplay, is very similar. Um, one of the more interesting things is that this game is 20 times better. It's longer, it's got better graphics, the guns shoot faster, much faster. Um, in the other, in the 007 game, the guns were kind of regulated as far as how fast they could shoot. They could only shoot so fast. No gun was really that much faster than the other. Even the RCP-90 shot about the same rate as a, uh, um, a KF-7 Soviet. But the only gun that had a true regulation to it that was separate um, of the automatic guns was probably the Clob. Um, looks like they turned the lights back on on me, so I had to turn my uh, night vision off. This is a pretty cool gun. It has an automatic lock on. You have to. Um, once you sight and if your sight touches a person, it'll put a little red box around them. From then on, it's a complete auto aim, even if you um, get out of sight. It can be affected when you strafe back and forth, um, but this gun is really, really fast. Definitely with the, the biggest upgrades is the fact that the guns shoot at really fast rates. That's one of the NPCs. Is is a doctor, but he's really an artificial intelligence. You can see the box shielding they have, kind of you know, low level, graphically, but it works. It's just a shielding. It doesn't have to be perfect looking. So I think they did a great job with the graphics, um, especially for the time. Of course, the eight extra megabytes of memory really helps, <laughs> but hey. They also um, kept the same um, the same levels. This is actually the second time you play through this level, and there's a total of three levels that use this environment here. I thought it was pretty ingenious of them to, you know, kind of give you extra gameplay through the same level. The only thing I do disagree with in this game is probably the shotgun. It's not nearly powerful enough. You have to be like right on top of somebody and, and do the double blast, which is the secondary fire feature, um, to get anything done. <laughs> well, that's Perfect Dark. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. It's a great game.